Yeah. Hi, Commissioner, thank you very much for speaking to us tonight. Do you have any more information about what has happened to Kumar Gunaratnam and his female associate? Uh, Richard, good evening. Uh, thank you for the opportunity and inviting me. Uh, in the first instance, uh, Richard, we need to establish uh, the correct uh, person uh, by the name of Prema Kumar Gunaratnam. In fact, is an Australian citizen. And in fact, if he traveled to Sri Lanka and when, if so, and what category of visa he processed, a business or tourist visa. So this uh, fact has not been established. The information the Sri Lanka government has at the, at the moment is that uh, no person by such name has visited uh, Sri Lanka in the recent past. So it is critically important to identify the, uh, the claim of uh, Prema Kumar Gunaratnam to be an Australian citizen and in fact he is in Sri Lanka and he has been in Sri Lanka. This has not been established yet. His family says he has dual citizenship. Uh, that has to be established. This particular name uh, draws a blank in Sri Lanka entry uh, data and documents as far as Sri Lanka government is concerned. So it brings us to a uh, difficult situation to establish who this Kumar Gunaratnam is. And that is at the moment is the effort of the Sri Lankan authorities in liaison with Australian government to establish the correct identity of the person concerned. Because obviously the Australian government is concerned and from, from their evidence believe he has been abducted. While you say police uh, have no record of, of this man, I mean, what's, what's going on? Someone's been abducted. Uh, it is not a case of someone being abducted. The complaint is Kumar, uh, Prema Kumar Gunaratnam is abducted in Sri Lanka. So we are concerned about uh, the complaint being an Australian citizen as claimed by the wife uh, in uh, the uh, television. And this is being taken into consideration. We are talking to Australian government authorities through the Australian mission in Colombo and myself. And uh, we will establish the correct identity and if at all, uh, if this is, is an Australian citizen. But uh, he was also taken with another person, uh, well, allegedly taken with another person. Do you have any information on them? Uh, negative. Uh, there had been complaints of a uh, uh, disappearance uh, to Sri Lankan police on the 7th and uh, they are making investigations and nothing said about an Australian citizen. Someone has obviously been abducted. The family is obviously concerned. Australia is concerned. They've uh, confirmed that a 42-year-old man had been abducted. Is this the work of the Sri Lankan secret police? Uh, well, I will not comment of any abduction. There is no Australian involvement in the complaint uh, in the abducted person. So there is no uh, situation of... But abductions of, are common in Sri Lanka. A negative. There is no abductions. It is very... Uh, incorrect to say abductions are common in Sri Lanka. Well, human there rights campaigners say more than 30 people have been abducted since October last year. And there are... Yes. Yes, there could be uh, allegations of abductions. The government mechanisms are available to look into these uh, complaints with substantiated evidence and uh, accurate information. This type of uh, uh, information saying a particular name and we are unable to trace such a person. And there are instances, certain individuals uh, relevant to this occasion have changed names, uh, changed passport numbers, changed passports and various uh, counterclaims and counter statements has been recorded. So we need to uh, set into the proper way of investigation and help the family. If at all, if something has happened, we are always willing to help uh, the Australian government and the Australian citizen if he brings up with the proper uh, accurate information so that we can trace such person if, if at all, if it is that the police or the government do not do any abduction, they do legitimate arrest if somebody is breaking the law of the country. Well, I mean, even in March this year, the UN raised concern that there's been an unprecedented and totally unacceptable level of threats, harassment and intimidation directed at Sri Lankan activists. Are you saying allegations, that... Allegations are always there in a, a democracy. People can make complaints and it is up to the government as far as the evidence is concerned to come up with a, 
uh, correct answer and uh, reason for any arrest and abductions are not done by the government forces they do arrest this is a factional uh, political two groups who are breakaway faction uh, relevant to this particular person as far as the the wife statement today so this uh, political breakaway group has its rivals and uh, we will investigate into uh, this situation if at all that particular person if he's identified if he has been missing from the place of his existence so what further investigations are you going to undertake from australia uh, from australia i will speak to the department of foreign affairs and trade obtain the information authentic information of the australian citizen and they would provide us with the information of date of his departure and if at all if he had a visa obtained on arrival uh, at the particular time we have a new system that we could get visa on uh, uh, line uh, and he can go with the approved uh, visa uh, application approved visa application and he's given one month uh, visa on arrival or through the online assessment so these things has to be checked in uh, we have a very systematic system of entry to my country and uh, they need to leave the country and if people have not left after that one month we conduct our investigations of whereabouts as per the information given to the uh, uh, at the uh, point of entry or the application there is a system um, which has been practiced if there's any complaint to sri lankan authorities of any missing person uh, of uh, anybody's interested person we will look into that and the evidence and the investigation will be made available to the complainant in uh, due course. Hi Commissioner, thank you very much for speaking to us tonight. Thank you very much for the opportunity. All the best.